Hey guys, it's Rosie or Top of Bricks here with another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over Lego Harry Potter set ideas and mocks, which I think should be made into real life Lego sets in 2022 and beyond. Most of these set ideas I have not brought up in any previous video, and some of them are quite niche ideas. Not the typical Gringotts or Shrieking Shack set, as you may expect, so without further ado, get your popcorn ready and let's jump on into this video. So for the first set idea we have the Lego Owlery Tower. This set would be a Goblet of Fire set as this tower features in just that movie and the Prison of Azkaban, but mainly the Goblet of Fire. So in the Goblet of Fire film, the Owlery isn't actually a part of the Hogwarts castle like it's portrayed in the books or the rest of the films. The Owlery is actually a separate tower based quite some distance away from the castle. This is also known as the West Tower. I think this would be a good standalone set and wouldn't look out of place next to any Lego High Potter Hogwarts expansion set. Ideally a set like this would cost between $60 and £80 pounds or $80 and $100 and would have snowy accents to it just like how it appears in the Goblet of Fire film. Inside we would naturally have many owls on perches and this set would come with just a couple minifigures, probably Harry and Cho Chang, but people wouldn't be buying the set for the minifigures, they'll be buying it for the build itself, just to put on either display on their desk or bedside cabinet or to go with their 2018 to 2020 Hogwarts expansion sets, as ideally this would also have a grey roof, and not the sand green ones like the 2021 Lego Hogwarts expansion sets. The next set on this list would be another Goblet of Fire set called The Rescue from the Mer People. Now I realise that we already have a set like this back in 2005, but I would make it much better and probably a bit bigger. I'd have the main arch taller and more prominent, and I'd also include many different weed pieces that can be unique to the set. I think this could be a great opportunity to get some really awesome parts here. I also think the set should probably also come with a giant squid build, as this set is of course based in the Black Lake or the Great Lake. However, I think the best thing about making this set again would be indeed the minifigures. We could get a whole lot including the Mer people and even the Mer king as well as Cedric and Fleur with the Bulbahead charm, Sharkhead Crumb, Harry with the gills and also the likes of Ron, Hermione, Cho and Gabrielle so a lot of unique figures here. Lego while probably rebooting the Harry Potter theme next year so we could see some more sets from earlier films such as the Goblet of Fire and if we do I would want this set to be one of them. Next up we have the Hogsmeade train station, this is a set idea that I am very passionate about and I'm convinced it will sell really well. This set would ideally cost less than around $100 and would be a nice long station with track in which we can display our Lego Hogwarts Express from 2018 or even one of the earlier models. The station would have a decently wide and raised platform with the little ticket shop that we often see in the films as well as the waiting or sitting area and also the other little buildings which I assume are storage huts of some sort. I think this would be a really enjoyable build, and if this set was done with a snowy aesthetic, it could really go well with our Hogsmeade Village set from 2021. The minifigures for this set would be a station guard, Hagrid, Harry, Ron, Hermione and Neville with his toad, and also maybe Malfoy. This set would of course be based off of the Philosopher's Stone, when they first get off the train before they board the boats to get to the Hogwarts for the first time for the first year students. The next set I would suggest LEGO make for the Harry Potter theme would be another Chamber of Secrets, but this time a proper actual Chamber of Secrets set, similar to how the set was made back in 2002, not 2021. More specifically, don't include any of the castle, instead just give us the chamber with the face of Salazar Slytherin on the wall, with maybe a feature which allows the mouth to open and close. I would also add the pool as well as the long hallway with the basilisk busks on either side going all the way down. The main feature with this set though however would be a big UCS styled basilisk. This would probably contain around 50% of the overall piece count and would be the desirable factor of this set. Naturally this set would be quite expensive having a price tag of probably around $200-$250 to $250, but I think it would be highly desirable nonetheless and certainly more desirable than the 2021 Lego Hogwarts Icons T to C which is also around the same price point and I don't even think that's a bad set. The minifigures with the set would include forks with a clip at the bottom and which you could attach the Sword of Gryffindor so he's effectively holding it while flying. I would also throw in Ron, Gilderoy Lockhart and all the dirty robes, also Ginny, Harry and of course Tom Riddle. And finally for the last set idea in this video we have a big UCS style dragon, either the Ukrainian Iron Belly Dragon from Gringotts or the Hungarian Horntail. This set wouldn't come with any minifigures but it would just be a 100% display set, it would retail for probably over $100 and would be quite huge, I'm not sure which dragon I would prefer, 
being made in the UCS style, but I would settle for either. On one hand, it would be really good just to get a proper Hungarian Horntail, as the 2019 version just didn't do it justice in my opinion, it just looked more like an eagle than a dragon. But at the same time, we just haven't seen the Ukrainian Iron Belly Dragon in LEGO before, and it would be really neat to see that, but let me know your guys' preference in the comments below. And that's about it for this video, if you enjoyed this one then make sure to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to see some more LEGO Harry Potter content in the future. I've been Rosie or Top of Bricks, see you next time.